Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I did my last video because basically I do them on my days off, but I uh, just thought I'd catch up and you know, you know, get some new, you know, keep it updated and see what's, uh, what's going on out there. But anyways, I know yesterday the uh, Xbox Slim released uh, the two terabyte version came out, and uh, I saw on YouTube like you know a few have done a, an unboxing video of it, and of course um. You know, shout out to my bro, uh, Cyclonus, too, because <laughs> uh, he's one of the first I've seen got it and, you, you know, unboxed it. And, of course, uh, you know, I've been talking to him about it. Of course, I know he's loved it, and I'm sure, he, you know, he gave his thoughts on it. But, anyway, uh, what are your thoughts about it? You know, you plan on getting one, like the two terabyte version? Of course, you know, I went to my local GameStop, and... All the pre-orders sold out immediately. I mean, you're you're not gonna get one, and you're pretty much in a long wait to get one. And of course, uh, do you want the uh, do you want the slim version, or do you want to wait till next year for the Scorpio? You know, you know, you can always you know comment on that. So this is just you know something you know could talk about. Um, uh, basically, what are my thoughts about? It? I mean, I like the design. You know, it's smaller. It's an ultra Blu-ray player. It's the cheapest one there is because, because commonly an ultra Blu-ray player is usually four hundred dollars. <laughs> you know, and plus like the ultra Blu-rays they're starting to come out with. Of course, I mean I bought one Deadpool. <laughs> and of course, I mean I just play like the regular Blu-ray until I get an updated player. But but it's cool that you know it can upscale. Like you know if you got a regular 1080p TV, it'll upscale to that. And then you don't have to worry about losing quality or anything. But it's just, you know, so much that the eyes can see, you know. If you don't have a 4K TV, it's pretty much not a worry. Um, basically, anything else, uh, lately I've just been on a retro kit, but last thing, you know, a couple of games I've been playing on my X1 is basically, uh, Tales from the Borderlands, because pretty much I love the Telltale games, you know, ever since, like, they did with The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us, and of course, you know, after seeing the uh, Batman trailer, I, I'm really excited to play that, you know, which the full game comes out next month with all the episodes, so based on waiting on that. And of course, uh, I saw like a teaser trailer, like an E3 of uh, Season 3 of Walking Dead, and you know, because you know, I pretty much like that series, period. I mean, just, you know, seeing Clementine grow up and everything, just can't wait to, to see the next chapter, you know, you know, to see of her exploits and everything going down. Uh, uh, pretty much anything else, uh, uh, lately, I mean, of course, I've been on this retro kick lately, because <laughs> I know, uh, I've just seen, well, you know, homeboy, uh, Gamer Nick, you know, bought some classic games, you know, shout out to you, Gamer Nick, and, uh, of course, my other bro, Gamer27, you know, he's been, you know, been discussing retro games lately, so, I saw, baby, I just, you know, throw my little two cents in on it, too, of course. Uh, to show you probably the collection I got, of course, you already seen this one when I did my unboxing video. It, basically, this is what started it all. So, pretty much all to your younger games out here. This is you know the sports games that started it all back in the 16-bit era. And of course, I went and got the others. Of course, the sequels. You know, got Bulls versus Lakers, Bulls versus Blazers. Team USA and Coach K basketball. I mean, all great games in themselves, but the only game thing I'm really pissed about this one, no North Carolina is not in the game. And it figures like, hey, you know, the biggest robbery, <laughs> one of the biggest robberies in college basketball, you only got one of the robberies in the game. I was like, what's up with that? <laughs> but anyways, so uh, anyway, just games like that have massive fun. You know, playing this, you know, during my high school years and stuff like that. Massive competitions, a lot of egos being bruised, you know, bragging rights, you name it. I mean, I mean, Genesis, like, you know, back in the early 90s, it was the king of sports games, you know. Cause, you know, back then, NES only had, like, you know, they had a few, very few uh, good uh, sports titles, you know. Tempo Super Bowl, Double Dribble, just to name a few. I mean, those two of the great sports games on there. And so about that, but... Yeah, uh, but this, uh, this is a very short video, because I know mainly, my main video is just mainly to discuss the Xbox Slim, because I know, because I probably, some, you know, already got it, 
I'm sure probably some are probably gonna get probably the other versions, probably like the Gears well theme one. Of course, it, <laughs> that that sucker is expensive. And, you know because you know because it's Gears, but you know it's just each their own. You know, spend what you want and spend in, in your heart's intent. You know, but uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, just give a like, subscribe, and you know, just give your thoughts about it. You know, you want to say yay or nay on the Xbox Slim? Just give me your thoughts. And other than that, this is Sinister. Peace out.